is Raja, and welcome to Taj Mahal Aquatics. Today I'm going to clean my largest aquarium that I currently have. This is the largest aquarium that I have. It's been passed down from my grandfather, and this aquarium is quite old. I haven't cleaned this one in a while, so now it's the perfect time to clean this aquarium. So without further ado, let's clean this aquarium. Give me wind and rain You're some kind of butterfly So first things first is taking the aquarium lid down. Now normally, for an aquarium this big, it takes two people to lift the top lid. But for my aquarium, I just lift it on my own. Now the top lid is out of the way, we can start the draining process and move the fish to a temporary place. And here's the fish in the temporary bucket. The fish that I currently have in my largest aquarium are two tilapia, one gourami, and one plecko. This aquarium used to be a predator aquarium, but most of my predator fish have died. I do have a plan to keep predator fish again, but not for now. But now that the fish is out of the way, let's continue on with the draining process. While the aquarium is draining, I'm gonna tell you a little story about my big aquarium. So this aquarium has been passed down from my late grandfather and he used to keep a lot of fish in this aquarium, from saltwater fish to freshwater fish. The last fish that he put in this aquarium before he passed it down to me is a crossback golden arowana. After he passed away, the aquarium was given to me and sent it to my house. This aquarium is really old and some parts of the seam that separates the aquarium with the filter and the pump chamber are already leaking. Thankfully, no water leaked out from the aquarium. The part that badly leaks is at the bottom of the filter chamber. The leak is so bad that the bottom part almost breaks loose from the seam. Thankfully, I was able to fix it by using a piece of marble cutting to hold it in place. Keeping an aquarium this old must be extra careful because the seam is not as strong as when it's new. If you had a plan to buy an aquarium that has built-in filter and pump chamber inside the aquarium like mine, I had one suggestion. Don't buy it. Just buy a regular aquarium, buy the filter separately, or buy a cabinet aquarium that has separate sum at the cabinet of the aquarium. Whatever you do, don't buy this kind of aquarium. Just don't. Highly unrecommended. Now that's enough with the story. Let's continue with the cleaning. The first thing I do every time I clean my aquarium is cleaning the filter. Because filter cleaning takes quite a bit of time. The filter media that I use for this aquarium filtration system is zeolite, bioball, carbon active, and filter pad. I clean the bioballs with the aquarium water, and for the rest of the filter media, I clean it with a garden hose. After I clean the filter, I clean the aquarium. Normally, I clean the aquarium by doing a little scrubbing if needed and doing water change. But I rarely scrub my big aquarium. Usually I only do water change. Scrubbing is rarely necessary. Water change in this aquarium takes quite a long time, so I'm just gonna speed it up for you. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me fear night up. You whip up my appetite. 
After the water change. Baby, you me After I do the water change, I put the filter media back into the filter chamber before I fill the aquarium. After the cleaning is done, time to fill the aquarium with clean water. halfway full so now it's time to return the fish into the aquarium
the aquarium cleaning is over and the aquarium is filled with clean water time to put the lid back and the cleaning is finally over This is the next day after I clean the aquarium. And this is the aquarium after being clean. The aquarium looks a lot better after being clean. And I can see the fish better now. And that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you like the content that I made in this channel, please support me by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't miss the latest content in this channel. Thanks for watching and keep living the fish life.